Let's get into the meat of it. You see the text. It's another absolute meat lock. We got Curtis Blades, aka Razor, taking on Chris Dawkins. And can't wait to see how this one plays out because Chris Dawkins was riding a lot of hype, right? He had won five straight, finally got that main event opportunity, and got absolutely smoked by Derek Lewis. It was over before it began. First round finish for the Black Beast and really derailed the hype train. And it seems as though they're going to ride with him again in another main event, but. Uh, no easy out uh, having to go against Curtis Blades, who we last saw just walk through Jarzino Rosenstrike. It seems as though Curtis Blades does what he does to literally everyone that isn't named Francis Ngannou. And uh, I know there was the Derek Lewis fight before that, but if you remember how that fight was going, I mean, Curtis Blades was having his way with Derek Lewis, ultimately just caught with, got caught with that YOLO meat bomb. And, uh, you know, no shame in that. Derek Lewis does that to everyone. So, what are your thoughts on how this uh, heavyweight fight is going to play out? Do you think that Blades is just going to do what he does, take down Chris Dawkins, keep him down there, maybe even get a finish? Or is Chris Dawkins, you know, going to sort of rediscover that sauce, get his hype back, and cash out as a 3-1 to one dog? Who you got? Yeah, this is such a great fight. Absolute banger, but nothing but a lock nonetheless. Um, Blades is going to maul from the beginning to the end. Um, this is the sad reality where Chris Dawkins is about to go on an absolute tear of a losing streak because this is a lock, boys. Um, so smash that meat. Definitely subscribe while you're at it. Um, and definitely, uh, you know, let us know what you're thinking because I think Razor is going to ground and pound for five rounds straight and get the, I mean, that's if he survives. Chris is a tough guy, but man, I think Blaze is going to literally maul him for five rounds if he even survives. Uh, just ground and pound nonstop. I see this being kind of like a Volkov fight where it's going to get the easy takedowns, ground and pound, smother sesh, and maybe on the bait of the not of the takedown, he gets an ultimate KO overhand right. Uh, Blades is the real deal. Um, I think he is future champ worthy. He's still very young, and man, does he look good unless your name is Francis or uh, a man that sweats a lot in his underwear. Uh, but other than that, this is a lock, boys, nonetheless. 100% a lock, and, you know, not sure you, you mentioned uh, Chris Dawkins. Not sure you ever want to be on a tear of a losing streak, but for sure we kind of see that about to go down for Chris Dawkins. And ultimately in this meat lock, we're going to be throwing down 417.24 at minus 400 blades odds. It's going to net 104.31. Get us that ninth straight meat lock. That's nine straight meat. I mean, uh, the meat lock is seemingly untouchable right now, and blades is going to sort of... Uh, Get us that next one for sure. The 45th overall. And if we look at Tapology, 86% is rolling with Razor Blades. And a majority of it actually is brown for that finish. Do you think that uh, Blades is going to make a statement in this one? Like really seek that finish? And especially now that he's going to have, if it gets that far, the 4th and 5th round to, to add more damage. Is a finish in the works for Curtis Blades? Oh, 100%. Um, I mean, Tapology, majority's got the finish. I will agree, you know, but I kind of hope it does go the distance just so Chris can get an absolute meat down from the man, the Razor Blades. Uh, I'm a big fan of Razor Blades, and I think he's going to maul uh, this person for five rounds. Uh, but I hope it's sooner because that would be pretty cool to see a a hype train KO because people are sleeping on Blades. I mean, people like don't even know who he is or they don't care or something because you know in the card community he's probably one of the cheapest cards you can get and this kid is an absolute savage it's pretty mind-blowing uh yeah so it'll be very interesting to see how he performs but it's a lock nonetheless yeah with you all the way and you know i i agree with you i think people are sleeping on curtis blades and this is a guy with a hell of a story uh has overcome a lot of personal adversity and uh is just a truly uh is a true specimen right i mean the the things he does with his wrestling game, uh, he's a specialist. And, you know, no one is as high level in this heavyweight division uh, at this specific craft that Curtis Blades has for sure. So I'm with you. think people are sleeping on him. And, uh, you know, whether it does go the distance and it's just five-round dominance or maybe it's a uh, somewhat surprising finish, uh, I think Blades is going to deliver in this one for sure. So let us know in the comments, Meat Boys, if you agree with this week's meat lock. Uh, if you disagree, let us know, but otherwise, take it to the grill and get the bill.